Welcome back to the Godzilla 1998 three-part miniseries, everybody. Today, for part two, we are going to be taking a look at the Bandai Mothra Kaiju Legends Godzilla 1998 figure. Oh yes, friends and neighbors, we are going back to the motherland. The Vinyl Land. And let me tell you, this is awesome. And just to repeat myself, something that I said last video, Bandai, this would be an amazing six-inch figure. Get on it. Please! Unlike the Hyper Series figure, we're actually going to see some variation in paint. There's going to be yellow on the eyes, though it is rather faded and not that great looking. I do appreciate the fact that Bandai actually attempted some different colors on this guy. And as you could probably already tell, the base color of this figure is like this off, weird, dying E.T. gray looking color. Something to that extent. And something that I absolutely love that I know that not everybody loves, but I surely do, is the blue spackle on the figure that probably wasn't intended from the word go, but honestly just looks so cool. Yes, it was likely accidental, but it's a cool looking accidental, accidenty, dent dentine ice looking thing. On mine, it is going to be present on both sides of the figure. Even on the opposite side, it's there and I love it. I absolutely dutly do love the metallic blue that was used for the back of this figure, the dorsal fins. It really helps all the crazy details on this figure pop and it just looks so dang cool. Yes, it's not entirely accurate and the opposite sides of these spikes over here weren't fully painted, but God, Dang, this looks awesome. It really, really does. And again, just look at those details. I guess we're talking about details now. We'll get to the rating in a bit. Look at that. Look at all of the amazing details that went into this thing. So, so, so very, very awesome. Godzilla 98's got his arms in the air and he's waving them like he just doesn't care. Lots on lots of amazing details that just don't stop. No matter where you look on this figure, you're going to find a lot of amazing detail and it's gonna look good. Even on the bottom of the tail over here, you'll see some nice line work, some separation work. It looks great. Did I just say separation work? I guess we can call those tail divorces. <laughs> Fantastic details on the foot with the toes over here. We'll be getting a beautiful level of that on both sides, of course. The arms, while a little skinny, do look fantastic as well on both sides, of course. And here you can lightly see that vestigial fifth finger that I talked about in the last episode. What is it? Why is it? Does it match my dress? Check out the video linked in the description below and at the end of the video for a full in-depth report on why Godzilla 1998 has five fingers instead of four. So for the most part, and what I'm trying to get across is, there's a lot of fantastic details on this figure, but... Not so much a butt, but a mouth. You're going to see a lot of really nice looking details on the inside of the mouth, both on the lower portion of the mouth and on the roof of the mouth as well. Seriously, this figure is just stacked on the details, and it further makes me yearn for a Movie Monsters series release. Come on, Bandai, this is money you're sitting on. But anyway, in terms of paint, even though it's sparse, I'm gonna give it a solid star. And in terms of detail, I'm going to give it a solid star. The figure looks amazing, and it would really be great to see a bigger representation of this with a heck of a lot more paint featured. But anyway, let's take a look at articulation. Now it's probably pretty easy to see, but the arms are gonna go all the way around both sides a little loose leg is gonna go all the way around on one side this leg however will not articulate because i actually had to glue it in place because after a couple of days of messing around with this figure, the leg just wouldn't stay in. I'm not saying I was rough with it, it was pretty loose from the start, but that's not the fault of the seller. Again, these are figures that needed to be constructed out of the box, so I imagine it went through, you know, a couple of re and D constructions. And of course, the tail will go all the way around, will be a tight swivel though. Fully articulated in both arms, both legs, only one leg for mine, and the tail, that's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna give that a full star. Three heckin' star. Yet another amazing Godzilla 1998 figure from Bandai that is just getting harder and harder to find these days and it really is upsetting just because the Godzilla 1998 fan base is only getting bigger by the moment. I know it might be impossible for some of you to actually comprehend that, but people do love this movie and do love this design. And I really do hope that Bandai gets off their butts and actually starts producing more of these figures, be it in the six inch scale, be it in the four inch scale, be it in the King series, Mega Monster series scale. Yeah. 
Bandai Mega Monster series. I wonder what's going to come out of that. Godzilla 1998 may not be the best Godzilla design in the world. Hell, it might not even technically be Godzilla anymore. But what we do have of G98 is truly, truly fantastic and is sorely needed in today's Bandai releases. Kamashi Nations, X Plus. I know we already got an X Plus Godzilla 1998, but we need more. We absolutely need more. And I'm so mad that I missed out on that Defo Real Godzilla 1998. That's going to be kicking me in the rear end for the rest of my days. This figure is awesome! I need more of this figure. I need more of Godzilla 1998 in vinyl format. Please, Bandai, please make it happen. And that's pretty much that, friends and neighbors. And before we go, I have to do give a nice little shout out here to Shava Ranks. My guy Sal hit me up with a link to this lovely lad on Instagram one random day after talking about mini godzilla 1998 figures in one of my comment sections in one of my videos i don't remember which dude tossed me links super duper quick managed to get this guy and this guy from the exact same seller big love out to you sal really means a lot thank you so so much and before i forget about this because i forgot to do this at the beginning of the video last time it wasn't just bandai japan that gave this guy a fifth finger the x plus defo reel did and the marmot even did as well which is wild and i imagine a lot of the bandai 98 produced stuff has a vestigial fifth finger as well. So if anybody has some concrete information as to why it was abolished from Trendmasters, but it was used for everything in Japan, please let me know in the comment section below. I have been Shin Rob Jira. Do so hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. And by next time, I mean on Friday where we talk about the Yutaka Real Heroes Godzilla 1998 figure. I'll see you all then and there. Peace.